I thought some Final Fantasy game. Uh, I mean, it looked really good. It looked really, really, really good. Like I, I was impressed by it even. Like I was like, wow, this actually, this looks like something I would even play. Which is like, that's a lot to say, man. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. A watershed moment for all mankind. Hey kids, sorry we're late. <laughs> Isn't this the mobile you game? Going to pay. Now, who wants Wait, to be no, the no, first no, this is something lady. else. Hey boss, your guests no. are here. <laughs> Last, Who the fuck is that? I refuse to be upstaged! A second time, my friend! Ah! Oh. Very good. Fill your hollow heart with rage. I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Is this like an alternate universe or some kind of shit? Where they like change the way the, the story is? You retrieve it. The black materia. Yeah. To our oblivion. Please. It alone can liberate us from this endless dream. Mm -hmm. Passing through. You. Tifa! Whew! Hey guys! They're getting some sun too, huh? Yeah. Uh oh. Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> you should get yourself a reading! It's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! This looks nice. This is just us. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Is that that triple triad bullshit? Did they have chocobo racing? Wait, yeah. Don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. An emissary from Wutai is here. Sent by Viceroy Saru. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Sephiroth! Hey! No, not you. Damn. Here. Just cut the bitch. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. The reunion. When spite and sorrow are harvested to feed the planet. No! I feel like I would uh, be much more moved by this. I never played the original one. Like, I know kind of what happens, like, because it's, like, such a popular game, but I don't really know what happened. Like, what, what, what it was specifically, you know? Mm. Come looks way better than that trailer? Really? December remake was a sequel? Really? I'm waiting, Cloud. In Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cloud and his companions triumph over destiny. Leaving the city of Midgar behind, they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness. 
It is here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth begins. The quality on this looks really good. The stage upon which this ragtag band story unfolds is both vast and varied. The world is made up of multiple regions, all seamlessly interconnected. The grasslands. Oh shit! Look at the bird! Located due south of Midgar, this is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. There he is! The Junon region. Where a metropolis by the same name do, overlooks the ocean, he do that? a symbol of Shinra's military might. The Karel region. The resort town of Costa del Sol Ooh. adorns its northern shore. While the gold saucer Wait, so stands tell as a gilded oasis above the dust bowl far to the south. Oh shit! So the this Gingaga gets in region. this game! Pay tribute to Zack by exploring his hometown. Or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor. Oh man! The Cosmo Canyon region. Become one with the planet as you return to Red 13's roots. The Nebel region. Cloud is the best Take protagonist. Down memory lanes is that right? Cloud and Tifa. Or stop by Shinra Manor, where Vincent rests in peace. Your adventure will even extend to the high seas. So the, this game can have vehicles, but Starfield can't? There's more to do than simply walk around, however. You know. First, let's look at world intel. Assisting Chadley with his yeah. research will deepen his understanding of the world, allowing him I to I want to see some more combat. Materia. This research takes many forms, Ooh, such as riding chocobos or playing with the Mooglets at their mob schools. That doesn't schools. look like a Moogle. You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine entities. Wait, is... Or lairs inhabited by fierce... Was that who I thought foes. it was? Chadley will also enlist your help in researching mysterious artifacts known as proto -quests. That was Alexander? Each investigation is its own side story, featuring a colorful cast of characters, exciting new minigames, and oh ferocious my God. creatures. Are you up for the challenge? And once you recover all the proto-relics scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what Final Fantasy XIV and be discovering Final Fantasy XIV for the first time. Yeah, I've never Next, played any of the other ones. Odd jobs. Well, I played 16. These quests offer a deep dive into the regions of the world and the crazy characters who inhabit them. As a merc, Cloud will accept work from people he meets in his travels. Was he like doing a photo shoot for a furry? To solve their troubles. By helping those in need, he will also strengthen the bonds between him and his comrades. Ooh, frog guys. Each one of these odd jobs boasts a unique side story. Some, like Johnny's questline, borrow aspects from the original FF7, uh -huh. while others highlight content exclusive to Rebirth. You'll find all sorts of jobs the world over. And don't worry if you leave some for later. Story progression won't affect your side hustle. You can always go back to tie up loose ends. And this freedom to experience the story how you want is one of Rebirth's greatest strengths. I would never do that. I would While fuck that up so bad. While some games are tied to world intel and odd jobs, many are not. For example, popular ones from the Gold Saucer, such as 3D Brawler. Oh, there it is! And Chocobo Racing Wait. are in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 2. Bro, I feel like I'm watching a, like a, a Others Final Fantasy version of Mario friends, Party. While still more are this is nuts! Look at how many rebirth. there are here. Oh my god! We've even fleshed out some of the mini games that were featured as part of the original Final Fantasy VII's Look at scenario. this! Though this one is not in the original, yes. I highly suggest you check out the card game, Queen's Blood. I thought it was just like no a remake of the story. the story. It's sure to both challenge and entertain you. Enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra, and I'm the last. While mini games and map exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm, there's more to it than just that. 
Rebirth provides a cinematic experience with even higher quality content and more of it than Remake. This installment follows Cloud and company after they escape Midgar up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. Yeah, this looks really We've good. We've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey. One that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Once you finish Rebirth, I'm sure you'll agree that no other game makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Not even him. Damn. As for the graphics... I think the graphics aren't like of the PlayStation 5 super amazing, but they're good. These Meaning are good graphics. Use much higher resolution yeah, than we could it's not as good as 16, right? And they will still but it is good. The blink of an eye. Maintain a 60 FPS yeah. frame rate with performance mode. 60 FPS, wow. Or That's great. Prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. Oh wow. Whichever you prefer. Rebirth has you covered. Each character interacts with the world in their own way. Barrett shoots objects. Yuffie swings across gaps. Tifa has her grappling gun. Red can climb along walls. Kate Sith grabs and throws items. Oh, that makes sense. And Aerith manipulates the life stream. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates will be ready to help you overcome them. That's cool. Now for the music. We wanted to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks but also challenge ourselves by matching the feeling of each scene, which resulted in some truly innovative arrangements. Yeah, I feel like, like Final Fantasy example, music is always very iconic, you know? Oh, man. How is that? Yep. If you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well over 400 new tracks so for this good, game, yeah. so there's plenty more where that came from. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Your party's bonds aren't just reflected in the story, but through gameplay as well. The choices you make throughout your adventure will change the way your comrades feel towards Cloud. Ooh. Yeah. At least I made that promise to you. These feelings affect who will join you on a date in a gold saucer. Something I'm sure many of you are excited about. <laughs> in fact, even allies who weren't available in the original episode They just say it, bro. ...can now accompany you, provided you play your cards right. Oh my god. The saucer is packed with many incredible sights to see and things to do. Yeah. So your outing there will no doubt be a high. Yeah, I think Tifa's the hottest one. I don't even think it's close. Already have someone who you'd like to go with? No shit, yeah, true. Uh, Cloud? Well, we hope they feel the same way too. You want the boobs reduced? I feel like her boobs are still huge, man. Your I, I do. Your will share a bond, not only with Cloud, but with each other as well. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really say that's a nerf. Your party level, a numerical expression got of nerf? bond, no, I don't think so. will increase as you overcome challenges. I'm going to accompany you. The higher this level, the more skills will become available mm -hmm. in your character's folios, a mechanic new to rebirth. By unlocking the skills etched in these tones, your characters will grow stronger and Ooh. learn new synergy commands. Okay. So they, all right, all right, here we go. That's so fun is all the different character combinations. Switch up your team to fit the situation, or even your mood. I would never do that. I would always Every use the same three characters. Every combination has its own For unique synergy commands. 
Yeah, this is all action so combat if you want it to be, right? To work for you. Focus on tweaking their skills to match your combat needs. Yeah. And don't be afraid to experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. I'm so glad they're, they're like that. With new characters and who will finally get away from the, uh, you know, locking people into wasting their time. Hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made even more dynamic and engaging. Yeah, that's cool. We can't wait for you to experience all this and more in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PlayStation 5. Oh, that was cool. Is this the Hideaway music? Yeah, that's what I thought. Final Fantasy VII Reverse of Senko Ste Preste Tadakeru. Damn, the demo is coming out today. Holy shit. Kono Taiken Bandewa, Monogatari no Juyona Point of Tonaru, Nibruheim Zikenga Shuruk Sareteori, Crowd Ya Sephiros of Sosa Surkotoga de Kimas. Sarani, Konkai no Taiken Bandewa, Hatsbai Made no Idani Apude Toga Hidi, Junon Area no Ichibo Tansak de Kiru Tsuika Demo Gakai Ho Saremas. Honsak no Tokcho de Aru, Judo no Takai Area Tansak O Taiken Stekudasai. Maybe I'll have to try to play this game before the uh, the other thing comes out. It depends on how long Dragon's Dogma takes me. Because I, I do feel like I need to play Final... I've never played Final Fantasy VII. Like, that's... Like, who... Like, what? Like, what do you mean I never played it? You know what I mean? Adaptive triggers? Oh boy. I have to say, I think the new PS5 controller is the best one they've ever made. It's better than the Xbox or the Nintendo one. Yeah, it, it's like... I have it right here. See, I know it's gonna get the Xbox Andy's mad on, sh uh, you know, on Twitter, but yeah, I, I think this—it's just—it's just better. Crimson get mad again? I saw that, yeah. Yeah, should make like an MMO for Final Fantasy. That'd be a good idea. So, um. Yeah, that's crazy. I am going to, uh, uh, I'll probably try and play that. I mean, you know, w one of these days I'll try and play it. I don't know when. I'm almost done with Pow World. I think I might be finishing the game either today or tomorrow. Got Season of Discovery coming out, and then Dragon's Dogma 2. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. Like, there's a lot of new games coming out. There's a lot of stuff to do, and, uh, it's looking great, man. Like, I never, uh... I never feel like there's not something to do, man. And that's the best thing about it is like right now, like with games, at least for me, like I don't know how long it would take for me to get through all of the games that I'm like just excited about, you know?